As the imaginary battle lines between Marvel Studios and DC continue to be fought on the harsh battlefield that is the internet, Hugh Jackman has staked his flag on DC side, meaning he is forever a traitor and cannot be allowed to be Wolverine anymore, says insane rabbit fanboys on Twitter. So this comes at us from an interview with Variety, where Hugh Jackman was talking about superhero films, the comeback that he's obviously going to be doing in Deadpool 3, the future of his time as Wolverine, and of course what he thinks about comic book films and how far they've come ever since he was cast as Wolverine in the late 90s. And he talks a little bit about the approach to comic book films, how far they've come, and then he's asked about the first superhero he ever looked up to. And he says, Superman. The Christopher Reeves Donner version, that's what he looked up to. It was Superman. And then when asked about his favorite comic book film, he says, it's going to be The Dark Knight. Chris Nolan's Dark Knight. Okay. He's asked about his favorite horror film. He says Salem's Law. And he talks about some other things. Some Marvel crazy fanatics have taken this as betrayal because he finds The Dark Knight as his favorite comic book film? Well, if he said Logan, then he would sound egotistic. So he said something else, which is fine. A lot of other actors have films they love that they're not in. As a matter of fact, I think most have those films. I don't remember a single actor ever being asked about what they think the best comic book film is and them ever stating it's the one they're in. Well, actually, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I think, is the only one, but... You know, look, what I'm trying to say is it's fine for him to enjoy the Dark Knight, just like it's fine for you to idolize the Joker and sleep at the altar of Arthur Fleck or whatever you do. Just like it's OK for me to sleep under my shrine of X-Men Wolverine Origins, the best X-Men movie ever. Fact. Hashtag fact. I own four versions of that film. Why the fuck do I? I also accidentally own two versions of X-Men Apocalypse. I don't like either of those films. See, see what I'm trying to say is it's okay. It's okay to like things or buy things and have things in your collection. Just like it's okay for him to not have a Marvel film as his favorite comic book film. Everybody has different tastes. Literally everybody. We all agreed on the same thing. We would all agree that despite how cool you think you are by hating the newest Call of Duty, there's still good, solid games releasing every year.